independence would blow a £12 billion hole in the Scottish economy as soon as it broke away from the UK, a pro-union campaigner has warned. Speaking the day before the start of this year's SNP conference, Kevin Haig emphasised the great deal he believes Scotland currently has, and urged separatists to think twice before jeopardising it. SNP MSP Alan Smith yesterday claimed rejoining the EU would put the rocket boosters on an independent Scotland's recovery from the coronavirus pandemic. However, businessman Kevin Haig, chairman of the These Islands think tank suggested it was a case of careful what you wish for. Mr Haig published a lengthy analysis of the Scottish Government's Government Expenditure and Revenue Scotland 2020-21 report JERS, which estimates the revenue raised in Scotland and the goods and services provided for the benefit of Scotland. This indicates Scotland raised £62.8 billion in revenues in 2020-21 but spent £99.2 billion in other words a £36.3 billion difference between revenues raised and the costs of these public services. JERS also reveals an implied fiscal transfer between the rest of the UK and Scotland of £12.1 billion, equivalent to £2,210 for every man, woman and child in Scotland, and money which would be lost to an independent nation. Scotland will be £12 billion a year worse off to start with. He explained, Scotland continues to benefit by getting our fair share of public expenditure and the scale of that is £12 billion a year, that is how much Scotland benefits from being in the union. And that's not you know some bizarre snapshot, I think for the last six years at least, we've been getting £10 billion a year plus from the union dividend if you like. So in terms of getting our fair share of public spending, it works really well for Scotland. Mr Haig said, people say, why should we need to rely on money from England? But it's the equivalent of when the oil revenues boomed in the 80s and Scotland was putting into the pot. Right now, Scotland is taking out of the pot. For those, such as Mr Smith, who believed rejoining the EU would dramatically benefit Scotland's economy, Mr Haig had words of caution. He said, the European Union requires the countries to stand on their own two feet. There are some subsidies but ultimately you have to manage the deficit which in the UK they don't.